Hello friends and welcome to the Physio Voice. Today we will be discussing about stages of tissue healing and joint irritability. So what do we know about tissue healing? We commonly say that stages of tissue healing can be decided on the basis of number of days post injury. But we must also be knowing about the other factors regarding the same. As previously learned, stages of tissue healing can also be determined by joint reactivity and joint irritability. In this video, we will be learning more on joint irritability. It is determined by the degree of pain experienced and the time taken by pain to subside in relation to the intensity of activity performed that caused it. To understand the various stages of tissue healing better, we must be having the knowledge of various levels of joint irritability. Level 1, T1, is the length of time for which position or activity can be maintained before pain commences or increases. Level 2, T2, is the length of time for which position or activity can be continued before pain becomes unbearable. And level 3, T3, is the length of time taken by pain to return to its baseline level after the cessation of the activity. So now that we know about the various levels of joint irritability, let us learn how to determine the stages of tissue healing with the help of the same. If T1 and T2 is less than T3, it is suggestive of a high reactive joint corresponding to the acute stage of healing. If T1 and T2 is more than T3, it is suggestive of a low reactive joint corresponding to subacute to chronic stage of tissue healing. Here is the clinical implication of joint irritability. Please do like our video, subscribe to our channel for more and share this video. Thank you.